Hello everyone, Kena here. Today I will be covering the DPS specs of Shaman, Enhancement and Elemental. Please be aware that this video is about the upcoming Legion expansion and not related to the pre-patch and the current status on life. The beta is also subject to change, although with Legion already right around the corner, the current Shaman of beta is more likely the one we will see when Legion is released. In this video, I will go over the class changes from Warlord to Legion, my opinion on performance and gameplay, and the pros and cons of each of the DPS specs. Starting with Enhancement. Enhancement has changed a lot going from Warlords to Legion. The spec feels different, but may still feel familiar to people who've played it before. A lot of our skill base will now be in managing small CDs, reacting to procs, maintaining small buffs, and playing around with a new Millstorm, Millstorm. We are also no longer a AoE only spec, but are quite versatile in most situations. Some of the good things to look forward to about Enhancement Shaman and Legion is that our sustained single target, Cleave, and AoE is all strong. Our target swapping is insane if not the best in the game. We have no ramp up time, so killing high priority adds is definitely a job of the Enhancement Shaman. Unlike other classes, our AoE will increase our single target DPS. For other classes, they have to change rotation or spend resources on AoE, making their single target DPS lower. If there's a priority add in an AoE pack, Enhancement is also going to be king. And we can bring Rage Utility in form of Windwalk Totem. It's kind of the same as the Beating Roar, but not baseline and has a radius around the totem, making it slightly weaker, yet a good utility tool on certain fights. Like any spec, Enhancement also has weaknesses compared to other classes. For example, we don't skill that great with gear compared to other classes. Our mastery matters a lot and scaling on it is not the greatest, but this is nothing surprising and can be fixed in a minor patch. A lot of our talent choices also do the same thing. After meaning, you might be running with the same talents for quite a while. On spread out cleave and AoE, we are not able to do much. Situations where there are a lot of spread out adds with low health pools were just not useful and makes us behind on classes like unholy DKs. Because of our versatile gameplay and insane target swapping, we are a great class to take into Raids and Mythic Plus. Since in Mythic Plus there are often packs with one or two priority targets, you get nuked in down as enhancement while maintaining great cleave and AoE. Currently the major issue for enhance is that it is still a melee DPS pack. In previous expansions and tiers, we have seen very little gameplay compared to other classes, especially in the world first race. The last time we were seen for an entire tier was Highmall because of how strong our AoE was. With other classes losing a utility spell and enhancement gaining one, I am excited to see a lot more shamans in top guilds competing. Now moving on to Elemental. Just like Enhancement, Elemental has changed into resource system. Unlike Enhancement, Elemental still has the exact same feeling as it had in Warlords. Maintaining your flame shock, reacting to lava surge, filling with lightning bolt or chain lightning, and then spending it on earthquake for AoE and earth shock for single target. Yet, it still feels new and refreshing, with several big issues we had in Warlords with Renner fixed or improved. Some things I personally really liked, there's a lot of talent choices, you can change talents based on situation, choices for single target, cleave and AoE. A AoE resource spender, so we're no longer over capping our resources or lightning shield charges on AoE as we always were. And there are several fun and interactive talents, like Ice Fury and Aftershock, this gives a for fun and interesting gameplay. For gameplay, what makes a spec fun for me are several talent choices. The issue is they might not be the strongest one, making me have to change talents for better performance. For performance, it is definitely better than what it was in Warlords, but at the moment it just feels weaker than the current Shadow Priest or Mage. Even though it may be weaker, it definitely has its strong points as well, such as good sustained AoE cleave, very flexible with options for single target, cleave, AoE and burst because of talents. Through talents, we have very potent burst for single target. Our artifact ability, Stormkeeper, also allows for some good AoE burst. Utility. With Boomy's losing roar, we gained it in Windwalk Totem. Do remind, it is a talent choice. For fights, we do not need any utility. We can also use Ancestral Guidance for some decent off healing when combined with cooldowns. As you can tell, a lot of the positive things about Shaman can also bring several issues. Other choices are talent choices, meaning tuning has to be done on point. Our AoE can be very inconsistent, with both our mastery and static overload being a percentage chance to proc. We have poor damage on the move, outside of lava switch procs and spenders, we really do not have anything to cast. And we have high ramp up time in pretty much every situation. At the current moment, Elemental doesn't feel specialized enough, making it a hard contender for the world first race. It feels a bit similar to the Shadow Priest because of the ramp up time, but just a lot more bursty and less sustained damage. 
The real perk of the Elemental Shaman is its strong single target burst, meaning for specific encounters it could be very strong. Because of its inconsistent AoE, it is also not a top contender for high level Mythic Plus. However, this might change when you get more Mastery and Haste. Earthquake is very strong for Mythic Plus however, since the knockdown does not get affected by diminishing returns, meaning you could almost permanently see a caster pack. This concludes my video on DPS Shaman. Even though Enhancement might be a bit more dominant than Elemental, tuning can still happen. Both packs are very fun and strong in specific situations and should not be counted out for any raid or Mythic Plus group. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a like. And if you agree or disagree with some points, leave a comment sharing what you think. Thanks for watching, guys.